Hey, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm gonna talk about Top 5 Best Budget Camera. Starting at number 5. Polaroid Go. Budget cameras Dona Euro Trademark T come much cuter than the Polaroid Go. We loved the vintage looks of this model in our tests. The pint-sized point-and-shoot is supremely easy to use. Its compact retro shell features just a few straightforward controls, complemented by a handy digital shot counter. Fixed focus and no macro mode mean creativity is a little limited, but the Polaroid Go does feature flash override, self-timer, and double exposure options to keep analog photographers entertained. Though the credit card-sized prints produced are a little on the small side, we discovered in our review that their pastel tones and impressive detail give them an eye-catching lo-fi quality. There are a few less expensive alternatives a euro, and film refills could be cheaper a euro, but you want a euro trademark T find a more accessible or portable way to enjoy the fun of instant photography. Coming at number 4. Olympus OMD EM10. If you a Euro trademark re an eager beginner who's in the market for a compact mirrorless camera, the Olympus OMD M10 Mark IV should be at the top of your list. An affordable micro four-thirds model, the Mark IV pairs a capable 20.3 MP sensor with impressive in-body image stabilization to deliver consistently attractive images using the kit lens. With footage capped at 4K 30p and no microphone or headphone input, Video is a Euro trademark TA major focus. Instead, this is a small, powerful camera for stills. We discovered in our review that dynamic range is better than anything a smartphone can capture, while the IBIS system keeps images sharp even when shooting handheld after dark. At number 3. Sony Alpha i6000. Dona Euro trademark T let the price fool you. The A6000 costs the same as other entry-level DSLR and mirrorless cameras, but Eta Euro trademark S an advanced and powerful camera that has only dropped to this price through being on the market since 2014. So, it may be old, but most of the specifications still look surprisingly fresh today. This includes a 24 MP APS-C sensor, a fast hybrid 179-point autofocus system, and continuous shooting at 11 frames per second. We found during our test of it that it delivered fantastic image quality. Its age shows in other areas, though, it only shoots 1080p full HD video and not 4K, and the screen is Neuro trademark T-touch sensitive, which we found to be a little frustrating for setting AF point. Still, the latter is still the case on many Sony cameras and the A6000 Euro trademark S high-end features ensure that it's a camera that will grow with you. Number 2 of my list. Fujifilm X-T200. We're still fans of the Fujifilm X-T30, but this cheaper, beginner-friendly version of that camera is our favorite mirrorless option for those starting out on their photography or video-making journeys. It's a big improvement over its X-T100 predecessor in almost every way, including autofocus, and has a fantastic 3.5 inches rear touchscreen. Unlike the Fujifilm X-7, you also get a viewfinder for framing shots, which is especially good news in bright light while traveling. We discovered that image quality was reliably lovely, and we loved the retro design. The only downside we found during our tests is that the subject tracking can be a little hit and miss during burst shooting, and isn't available for video, but otherwise this is one of the best cheap cameras around for those who want a new mirrorless model. And number 1. Nikon D3500. The Nikon D3400 was a hugely successful and popular DSLR. And the Nikon D3500 has taken its baton into the mirrorless age. DSLRs may be less common now, but they continue to offer excellent value compared to mirrorless cameras due to their optical viewfinders a euro, and the Nikon D3500 remains the best budget camera for beginners. Key changes over the older D3400 include an improved APS-C sensor, 
and an even better battery life of 1550 frames per charge, next to the D3400's very capable 1200 shots per charge. You also get a better grip and a slightly redesigned body that's a bit lighter, too. While it is also worth considering mirrorless alternatives to the Sony A6000, the D3500 is a bit more user-friendly a euro, particularly if you want to use it with longer lenses. Check out this video description for latest price and more informations. Thank you for watching this video. Please subscribe and stay tuned.